This video covers Power SDR KE9 NS version 2.8.0.75 and all the changes since the video, the last video in 0.67. The first thing I've added since then was in setup transmit a drive max. So if you're running it with a, a solid state drive that uh, needs less than 100 watts to drive it to full output then you could set this down this is not a wattage output but uh, just the drive slider here uh, basically limiting you to whatever that is so if your amplifier only takes 20 watts then it should be approximately 20 but you know you'd have to determine that by the uh, by measuring you know checking the output of your of your flex radio and make sure you're not you know you're not over 20 it's it's an approximation uh, your output versus whatever the slider actually says as far as a flex 5000 and a 3000 uh, so you can put a hard limit on instead of 100 you can dial it down to whatever you want to dial it down to so that's the first the um, oh the one other thing that I, I didn't clearly go over last time which is the band text I've added a lot lot more band text and if you right click on this up here it turns on this band text uh, so as you go across the band you can see the the definitions of all the different segments and then it tries to highlight each area now if you right click on center you'll pull up your setup screen and go you'll go right to display appearance display this right here is how you can change the color and then you can change the intensity of the band uh, the, the fill so I can I can change the color to you know whatever you want to change that color to so that's something I didn't go over last time uh, and it's defined uh, these band segment areas here are defined for all the shortwave bands and and so on uh, the next I've added and, and when you turn this on it disables it, it just disables the display of your spots see so here are the spots from the DX spotting window the next thing I've added is a gradient. Now you can see right now you're, you're you're looking at the pan adapter and you're just seeing the line. Now if I were to go to the display and add the uh, uh, fill pan adapter option, which was always there, uh, and you can uh, you can change the color of that pan fill. I added that a while ago, and you can change the uh, how how uh, transparent it is so i can go from full transparency up to uh, uh, fully opaque uh, so now i've added this pan fill gradient and what that does is it starts it's like it's just like the waterfall uh, starts out at blue and goes up the color wheel till it gets back around to uh, violet so uh, you can see the signals over here, uh, the peaks that get close to S9, they start to turn red. Uh, remember, you, if you left click, that'll reset your uh, waterfall. Right click will reset your pan adapter scale. And you can change, again, you can change the, uh, the, the, fill, or the, the transparency of that fill. You can have it really intense color to the pan fill gradient or uh, or just make it really subdued so I'm leaving it really intense right now so if I were to go to the AM broadcast band you can clearly see well if I right click I lower these down but you can start to see the uh, some of the signals here when we get into the bigger signals turn red up there So uh, the next was um, continuum mode. If I go down to continuum mode, this is showing the uh, the power level based on time, and I've added the beam heading. So if you're rotating your antenna, you could you could see the uh, the dB power level uh, at the time and the beam heading. Now, if you hold your mouse over here and you right click now they turn red and it's recording it to a, a file a comma delimited file so you can open it up into a spreadsheet and right click again to turn it off it turns back to yellow 
and to see the file just go up to your call sign box right click that'll open up a file that's uh, got your uh, um, your database folder and at the top will be this continuum file here that it shows you the frequency and the time and date and so forth and uh, um, that opens up that common delimited file that'll have all that data logged into it and oh the next one is the save so now if I leave if I if I turn the map on uh, when I close down power SDR the map will come back up if I have the spotting window if this is in the in the current if it's spotting if it's open and spotting and this is green and it's spotting that'll come back up uh, even the the VOA cap uh, if it's actually got that on that'll come back up so everything will come back up from uh, the condition you shut down power stair just like it does with the space weather uh, and the local weather whatever you if you had it on it'll it'll come back on when you uh, when you launch power SDR uh, the next one is power mate so when I go to set up general user I made the power mate uh, in, instead of just one alternate tune step in this case I got 1 Hertz 100 Hertz so now if I rotate the knob it's right now it's rotating 100 Hertz if I push the knob now it's you know now I'm doing the other alternate push it again I go back to the first one so you have two alternates on the power mate knob that you didn't have before and the uh, last thing I've added is uh, this map here you right click there's a uh, map dark and bright setting in here now so now before you you can change the gray line you could change the darkness and so forth of the, of the gray you could change how opaque uh, or how uh, translucent that this uh, gray line area is but now you can also do the map so I can go up and make the map a little brighter or I can make the map a little darker so you can't you know you can't do a lot with it but uh, but you can brighten it up a little bit and so that's it